Many thanks to Jerb, Jaren, Daisy Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, and that one random for making this video possible. The stats on weapon attachments has drastically changed in 1.13 to the point where which attachment you select actually makes a difference for your weapon now, unlike 1.12. Like being able to make your weapon 100% accurate, or how you can turn this crazy sway pattern into something that's much easier to control. So in this video we're going to break down how the attachment stats have changed in this patch, along with how suppressors have been nerfed to make your weapon stats worse now. The changes I'm going to share with you in this video have gone mostly under the radar as these changes weren't mentioned in the 1.13 changelog but were instead noted near the bottom of this article in the middle of this paragraph which I'm surprised about as these changes are massive for weapons. For example, most optics in the game now will make your weapon 10 times more accurate than in 1.12 which is a ridiculous buff. 10 times, that's a monstrous buff. To give you an idea of just how powerful this buff is, this is the AKM, it has a dispersion stat of 0.002, which is a stat used to calculate accuracy in DayZ. In 1.12, the PSO1, when you used to attach it to the AKM, reduced the dispersion to 0.00019 because it reduced it by 0.0001. Now it's 10 times more powerful in this patch, so it's 0.001, which effectively means it's doubled the accuracy of the AKM, which has a base dispersion of 0.002, but now because of the PSO1, has 0.001, doubling the AKM's accuracy. To those of you that are allergic to maths, at 600 meters, this is the AKM's bullet spread with no optic attached, and this is with the PSO1 attached. Even if you're not using the optic to shoot, you will still get twice the accuracy, which means in 1.13, it's possible to snipe again with the assault rifles at long distances. Now I haven't just cherry picked the AKM as an example here to shock you guys. All optics in DayZ reduce dispersion by 0.001 and all sights reduce dispersion by 0.0005. This includes attachments like the carry handle and the mini sights which didn't have an accuracy improving stat in 1.12, essentially making optics and sights very powerful for increasing the range at which you can shoot players now, and not just because they can zero further. What this means is assault rifles are roughly twice as accurate when they have an optic attached, and sniper rifles are infinitely accurate with an optic. I say this because the Mosin, for example, has a dispersion stat of 0.001, and like I said, optics reduce dispersion by 0.001. 0.001 minus 0.001, I shouldn't have to tell you, that equals zero, which means accuracy is 100% or infinite with the PU scope and the Mosin, which means wherever you point this thing, as long as you're zeroed correctly, it's gonna hit. Now to know the difference between an optic and a sight in DayZ, an optic has a magnification stat where a sight does not. So because all of these attachments here have a magnifying stat, they reduce dispersion by 0.001, whereas these sights that don't magnify your view reduce dispersion by 0.0005 when attached to your weapon instead. This is important because optics are twice as powerful as sights. But that's not the only reason I'm mentioning this, because the Time 6 ACOG was added in this patch, which can cause some confusion as it has both a Time 6 zoom optic and a Baraka sight. But after testing, it is considered an optic. This covers the changes to optics and sights in patch 1.13, apart from the carry handle which has been changed. It used to zero to 600 meters, now it zeroes to 200 meters instead. Moving on to muzzle attachment changes now, they have been nerfed quite a lot in 1.13 and that nerf comes in the form of how quickly they become ruined by shooting. The M4 suppressor for example now becomes ruined in 146 shots instead of 211 and the AK suppressor is 72 shots to ruin where it was in 1.12, 106. A reduction in both of around 30% less shots to ruin. The biggest nerf though goes to the pistol suppressor as it was 185 in 1.12 and now it's 80 in 1.13, about 55% less shots to ruin, where the improvised suppressor is about the same as it was in 1.12. However, the improvised suppressor no longer improves your weapon's accuracy like it did in 1.12, no longer reduces your recoil like it did in 1.12, and increases your sway by 20% when attached. This applies to the other suppressors too, recoil reduction has been nerfed, and you can now expect an increase in sway of 30% when you equip one of these metal suppressors. 
Unlike the improvised suppressor though, these metal suppressors have a nice accuracy boosting buff. For the M4 and AK suppressors, it's a buff of 5 times from what it was in 1.12, and for the pistol suppressor, which had no accuracy improving stat, is a very big buff from 0 to 0 0.0005. So these metal suppressors improve accuracy by 0 0.0005. So you'll need to decide if the extra sway here is worth it when it comes to these suppressors because if you attach it to your AKM with a PSO, it doubles the accuracy again from 0.001 down to 0.0005. So the AKM as standard is 0.002, but with these two attachments attached becomes 0.0005, a very big improvement. In addition to this, for muzzles, bayonets will no longer decrease your accuracy, but compensators for the Mosin and the SG5K no longer improve your accuracy. So bayonets and compensators no longer impact accuracy. The final attachment changes I'm going to talk about in this video are the buttstock and the handguard changes. I'm doing these together because handguards and buttstocks impact the same stats on our weapons. First of all, 1.13 has removed the stat that increases the accuracy from buttstocks and handguards. In 1.12, handguards and buttstocks used to improve accuracy, but now they do not, which means the only attachments that improve accuracy on weapons are optics, sights, and muzzles now. Instead, buttstocks and handguards focus on reducing the recoil and the sway of a weapon, with some attachments reducing recoil as much as 30%, and some reducing sway as much as 50%. For recoil for example, this is the ST5K otherwise known as the MP5. Without any recoil reducing attachments, this is a recoil pattern of the MP5, but with attachments the recoil is significantly reduced as you can see here. The same applies to the M4, with the recoil reducing attachments it makes the recoil much easier to control, which is pretty much the same as in 1.12. However, in 1.12 all handguards and buttstocks reduced recoil by a standard 20%, whereas now they all have different stats. Some are 30%, some are 15%. It depends on the attachment, with most of them having over 20% recoil reduction, meaning buttstocks and handguards in general have received a buff when it comes to reducing recoil in 1.13. One stat we haven't seen on attachments before, at least in a recent update, is sway, which when it comes to handguards and buttstocks gets reduced unlike suppressors which increase sway. With the suppressor attached which increases sway by 30%, as you can see it's even worse. However, with the best sway reducing attachments and without the suppressor attached, this is the sway pattern now. And no, this isn't in slow motion and it hasn't been edited in any way, apart from drawing this white line obviously. This is how much of a difference attachments make to your sway pattern now. In the case of the AKM, this is the sway pattern it draws after one minute with no attachments. Then with the suppressor, which statistically increases sway by 30%, we see an increase in the size or the length of this pattern by roughly 30%. However, with the best sway reducing attachments on, the sway pattern is only 35% of the original pattern at the top, which demonstrates just how powerful attachments are at reducing sway now. Attachments in general have seen a big buff here. They can turn medium distance weapons into sniper rifles and they can turn sniper rifles into railguns while reducing the recoil and the sway pattern of weapons drastically. With optics and sights specializing in increasing accuracy, suppressors reducing noise but increasing sway, compensators reducing recoil and buttstocks and handguards reducing recoil and sway. They all have their own sort of characteristics now and I like the way that they've done this. Now I don't know which direction the devs will take when changing the stats on these attachments. I guess that will depend on how the community reacts to these changes. So do you believe these are good or bad changes for the game? Should attachments be this powerful? Bear in mind these changes are only on experimental for now so the stats may change and because of that I'll do a guide on the stats of all the attachments in DayZ at a later date and do a best loadout video for each weapon to tell you which attachments are best for accuracy, reducing recoil and reducing sway. If you want to see that video then give this video a like but alternatively these stats will eventually be on the Wobo website in the coming weeks. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.